So surreal. Called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty? I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. Cornelius. You can find out all... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class... 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images, but I still dig my little instant camera. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You're just getting you always Welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jerry. I'm not paying $150 for it. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious timeout in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool.
I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. It looks like she's been gone for months. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Blackwell sure takes his swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the board. Yay, Halloween, my favorite time of year. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> the last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I'm good to flow, thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this 